respected dignitaries are esteemed guests and to everyone present here a very good evening i am shruti your host for this evening guys most of us are generally aware of what an art gallery does and who an artist is the evening night promises us an insight into the way one perceives the art a warm welcome friends to an evening of dynamic discussion keen insight and many more an interesting activity to begin with i am privileged to introduce our guest on the panel madam meena rege is the visionary behind the nehru art center gallery mumbai she initiated the gallery being set up in a center that was to be known for its science and cultural contribution today ma'am is the assistant director of the gallery for past 30 years meena ma'am has been heading the prestigious gallery organizing various events for child artists student artists and professionals and she continues to raise the bar higher and higher today nehru center art gallery happens to be one only gallery in india that proudly showcases the works of indian masters for the past 25 years An honor to have you grace this evening, ma'am. A warm welcome to you. Our next panelist, Niharika Shah, is an art and heritage consultant from Ahmedabad. Niharika, ma'am, is also the founder and director of the company Invent. In a short span of time, she has helped Invent Art expand its horizon by establishing gallery rack for contemporary art and design mill for traditional crafts under its umbrella. Previously, she has also held the prestigious Kanoria Center for Arts for more than a decade as a gallery director. Thank you for gracing our evening, Niharika Ma'am. We welcome you to the panel. Artist Gayatri Mehta is well known, name in art foundation and societies in Maharashtra and Gujarat, and renowned for her life portraits. And today, we'll moderate this panel. having worked as the world brand lecturer for Winson and Newton she is currently a brand ambassador for art launch and executive committee member of gujarat art society and founder trustee of portrait artist group she is also an active and honorary mentor at gallery production welcome gayatri ma'am and i would request to take the event forward from you hi everyone uh, savita shruti niharika uh, thank you all uh whoever are present here uh, for this lovely evening we are basically here i'm just waiting for my, uh, mrs nina rege to come around any time in the meantime i'll just briefly uh talk about uh, till she comes why was the need of having a gallery for almost hundreds of years the art is being practiced all over world why was there a need of a gallery previously art was totally sponsored by religious institutions then later on by feudal masters then the artists were patronized and they were working as per the norms given by their clients turning the centuries after baroque artists started working the for themselves and when they started themselves working for themselves they had to form some guilds the guilds were small groups and the groups used to proclaim various commissioned works for them so that way the artists started earning on their own later on there was this establishment from some local common people after uh, i think almost uh, 1700 uh, bc people wanted to showcase their own art that was not patronized by anybody it was not having uh, something for anybody it was exclusively for an artist to express himself and thereby the individuality of the stars and then there was no patron there was no aka on their head so someone had to do this so they various institutions various uh, societies ateliers they formed their own galleries royal gallery as you all know that was british gallery which was uh, which was the uh, standard mark uh, if your work is exhibited there uh, you are the master artist of the world and later on we all know the history and we all know that how the rebels started exhibiting outside the london royal art gallery paris art gallery all this all such things happened and 
all small small towns started having their own galleries very small towns like i have seen it in gujarat in porbandar in kolhapur there are so many small galleries so people the artists from all over the world they wanted some place to exhibit themselves and that is how there arose the concept of art galleries here in india we have as niharika is having her gallery which is which is a patronized gallery where if they select you you can exhibit jahangir art gallery as you all know the uh, nehru center art gallery these are commercial galleries and these galleries you have to pay rent and after paying rent you get the gallery for 7 days 10 days 15 days there are some galleries in mumbai active where you can exhibit for a month 15 days they these galleries do not charge anything but they are open galleries like uh, hotel show uh, walk in gallery in trident there is leela kempinski gallery there is art plaza gallery these galleries are uh, open galleries where the responsibility of the artist is 100% to take care of their paintings and walk in customers those who come to the hotels so very frankly when we all paint many of us here today are artist students we all paint is it only for ourselves ask yourself very honestly as soon as you create something uh, as vasudev kamath sir used to say to us that it is it is uh, when you paint your painting does not remain to yourself it becomes the property of the world because our paintings surpass our own lifetime our as we see great leonardo da vinci rembrandt we all can see so many paintings of yester years which we can still enjoy as fresh so our paintings are properties of the world as soon as we create them and that is why we have a very hidden instinct nobody no artist can deny this we have a hidden instinct that people should see that people should appreciate and whatever appreciate means they should look and give the response that is why we are seeing thousands of paintings getting poured every day online every day we see online on facebook insta wherever and wherever possible people post their paintings so it is just because some people they have started 6 months back and they have made one very small sketch they have just started initially started making some drawing some very uh, naive kind of uh, creation but immediately immediately want to post it why because that is the desire to be seen to be recognized and to be appreciated and that is where we are dependent even in this online world i hope uh, niharika will also agree to it that uh, all the artists who come to her they also come with a desire to get exhibited in her gallery and uh, uh, it is it is to be desired to get appreciated to get recognition and of course there is another agenda that my painting should be sold they should be awarded they should be uh, placed in good homes good institutions good organizations so that more and more people appreciate so this desire gets us to express to explore some places where we can exhibit our paintings in our days when i was young the galleries were our only source to exhibit and uh, we used to crave to get recognized like we used to post in different uh, art societies or organizations uh, annual shows where our one painting would be uh, selected and it would be uh, uh, posted in the, or it will be exhibited in jahangir art gallery or maharashtra state uh, 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 room there at uh, jj school of art or at nehru center that was our desire now with opening up of online uh, exhibitions 
now everybody can exhibit without being selected or not being selected the world has become a gallery and all those who can exhibit those who can create something are all artists so the it is it is it has become a global matter now but previously to be recognized we were 100% dependent on the galleries and for that i would say that nehru center was a gallery which started in almost i think 97 98 uh, when we first used to go it is one of the most beautiful gallery and uh, they used to have chatak show for aspiring artists for students they were different for when you are a professional artist they used to have fusion fusion of two state artists like gujarat and uh, mumbai maharashtra uh, rajasthan and maharashtra uh, south indian some and maharashtra that were the fusions were happening at that time so uh, this way the we were totally dependent on galleries and uh, whenever we got recognized to get jahangir art gallery which is makka of indian artist so everybody pandarpur what we call to get jahangir art gallery was a tough task first you have to prepare your proper uh, bio data you should have recognition somewhere you show your painting should be of certain caliber there and then only you will be given that gallery and after getting the gallery whatever your new findings explorations expressions you will get for 7 days again you wait for 4 uh, years to get again if at all we get it it was a tough task so the students the artists nowadays they paint then they immediately exhibit this this distance of uh, buyer or uh, i would say not buyer but actually the art lover and artist has suddenly become very very close you paint today and you exhibit today there is you don't have to wait for time you don't have to wait for place you don't have to wait for uh, anybody uh, restricting you from exhibiting so it has become very, very quick very fast very easy so the importance of gallery is somewhere you feel that it is getting lost but truly speaking as an artist let me tell you very specifically after working for more than 30 years in this field being an art uh, uh, secretary for certain organizations joint secretary for bombay art society art society i have experienced and i know art fraternity very closely and i know buyers art lovers very closely they may look at your painting but they would like to see that personally and there and then whatever feel you get after looking at a gallery uh, at a painting cannot be achieved by looking into the uh, online uh, whatever is happening because that feel of canvas the feel of your texture of your paint this may be a little smell of uh, uh, your uh, what we call a turpentine or anything it it inspires it really triggers it really takes the viewers to the experience closer to the artist which which is not possible online but yet yes things are happening i would not deny nina madam is coming or not savita nina is having an issue with the connectivity is, uh, maybe you can start with uh, niharika ji and then we can uh, finish i will start with niharika she is yeah. already here and yeah. uh, she is uh, uh, yes i'll i'll talk to niharika niharika can you please unmute your uh, mic hi okay. uh, so, you are being at amdabad uh yeah, yeah already uh, i think i am being in uh, i am i was introduced yes, so you are think, yes we are started mm -hmm. talking yes yes uh, okay can you okay, tell please. us uh, why did you start your gallery uh gayatri can what i start what made you what a gallery okay listen uh what i was just listening to the you know your statement and your classic definition of gallery but i would like to differ somewhere in the current time because in the current time you know gallery and young artist is like a symbiotic relationship so it is not it is not a one way relationship like previously galleries were only for the 
like uh, showcasing the artwork. But uh, now, even if you see, like you have the uh, very near example of Pradarsha Gallery, who are not only the uh, kind of you know the showcasing place, but it is more th more than that. So it is the uh, collaboration between young artists or the artists and the gallerist. It is uh, uh, we uh, even I would not put it as a completely. It is a mentorship relationship because it uh, it is more like a, they both need each other. So somewhere that classic definition of gallery as a physical place is uh, you know we have like a time has just we are beyond that. So gallery is not merely the physical space, but it is much more to it. So, uh, so that is why, you know, gallery can give you the wider audience, gallery can give you the first hand experience, gallery, not only that, gallery can also understand that your artistic vision, uh, what is your artistic vision is, and accordingly, they may plan or curate the show for artists. So, in the current time, uh, gallery is many more things just than to the showcasing place. Uh, now I'll come to your question. You were asking me that how did I come with uh, my uh, institute, like my uh, gallery. So uh, while working in Kanoria Center for Art for the past 15 years as gallery direct, I could see, I, I, I could understand you know, just they were fresh from uh, freshly graduate. Most of them are freshly graduate and from either MS University or Kheragar University or Shanti Niketan or somewhere from the south. And then coming to Ahmedabad, working in uh, residency, they wanted to, they were given the studio space. And then their actual journey starts because, you know, it is like... Uh, it is not like an IT field that you just come one day and start working. Being in the field, being with the other artists, being with the many new things, new cultural relationship, political relationship, social relationship, and you have absolutely new terrain to explore. So that is very interesting. That could interest me a lot. That uh, uh, And that is why I started my own place and so it is a small small studio place and we invite young artists to come here showcase their work talk about their work and then they can uh, take it forward to the bigger gallery space that is how we work okay uh, so it is something like you invite artists the artists have to come and give their bio data first so your Working will be something like whatever you feel like exhibiting. If you feel the artist worth exhibiting, there and then only you can invite them. Because your gallery is basically a gallery which is choosing and selecting and then inviting artists. Whereas galleries like Jahangir Art Gallery or Nehru Center Art Gallery, here we have to apply. Of course, there is a selection process. But we pay for seven days certain amount and then that becomes a, a rented gallery. For seven days we are exhibiting our works. Nobody is responsible for selling it. Nobody is responsible for inviting guests except they give us the list of guests. We, we, we have to do everything, publicity and everything has to be done by ourselves. And we as artists, we put our works there. And if we have our contacts if our work is worthy press takes notes of it and it gets publicized properly frankly and there frankly, are visitors, walking visitors also who are regular you ha. no no we don't we how, don't how have... you people manage the no Gayatri, we don't uh, invite uh, we don't yeah. select the artist first because i we are we don't judge them we don't just we don't have any process that they have to go through it and we select the work no we don't do it right now they they just okay. have to like give us the calendar that this is the month i would like to 
come talk about my work so you know sometimes they don't have anything to display also that is absolutely fine they can uh, present their work they can invite their friends it is absolutely open place for them to interact so we don't select them and uh, some uh, if they have something to show yes they have artwork to hang then the place is given for the one week so for one week they come here they uh, display their work because that is also learning you know to displaying their work uh, and then inviting their friends and we also invite people who are interested and then the interaction begin they talk about it it could be their studio space for work for one week so that is how it is only thing that we see to it that calendar is formed and they you know so there are no overlapping or no confusion like the time slot we are just dedicating and we don't select them because we see that yeah they are all when they have yeah. gone through so, all this uh, study you mean to say material that... so they are already an artist okay. and they don't need that okay so so what what do the artists expect from you okay so artists come here and we support them in every possible way we give them our social media platform so we put a note on instagram then a uh, main thing is you know just to establish them as an artist so showcasing their work talking about it uh, we invite press also media also to cover that and so that become kind of an open platform for them okay uh, i i want to ask you uh, anybody can apply uh, to the gallery and if it is permitted in your time slot they get the gallery so yes, yes. even a novice who is a novice practitioner or who is just been a hobby artist and uh, working would you accept them also no right now we are accepting only those who have passed out from the art like the fine art background or you know if he is a if they are the craft practitioner then also it is something like a very different craft so then we give them the space but you know there is a like it is mainly open for the students who are passed out from an institution so how how is your uh, experience like uh, when they exhibit you provide them space you provide them all the facilities and uh, i'm very sure that it is not chargeable uh, is it no, chargeable nothing is that no we don't charge them for anything that okay so so your uh, as a gallery i i know very for very sure that in mumbai when you have a gallery you have to run the show and you need money for that so somewhere something is being charged like when you are exhibiting your one of the painting is given to them or it is uh, 40% 30% as per the gallery's rules they take when you sell something but niharika's gallery is something very different where even if you are not exhibiting anything and you are working then too you can be present there so it's a great opportunity definitely it's a different kind of gallery but uh, the normal galleries they do they do expect certain things from artists and uh, that is, gallery we like do have, like, yeah. so we do have other shows commercial shows also because my place being very small it is like not possible to do a like a, the size of painting is also restricted to put in my gallery so when we are doing commercial shows okay. we do hire place outside we take professional galleries and do our shows there so this is kind of a you know okay. the home ground which we uh, give it to young artists we make them feel it that how do they do it it is kind of a uh, experiencing uh, their first exhibition it is like that the whole idea is that that's wonderful It's really commendable. Uh, if I may interrupt, uh, we have Nina here, so you can cue her in as well. Please, please, please. Where uh, uh, Nina I is? Can't Nina see is her. No, we can't see her, but she is here. Uh, Nina. Ah, namaskar. Nina. Namaskar, Nina, madam. Hello. 
रेगे मैडम नमस्कार आई थिंक वी लॉस्ट सर अगेन प्रदर्शक इज ऑल्सो वेरी स्मॉल गैलरी बट देर रेग्युलर शोज आर कंडक्टेड एंड there is a selection process and uh, as you all know they, they there is one of the asia's smallest gallery i would call it but with a very huge vision and very huge heart of this couple lalit and savita that uh, they have been exhibiting right from students to the masters and uh, it has been always a pleasure to work with them for last 25 years that vidyarthi vishesh is a great uh, thing to happen so uh, here this artist get uh, their first hand experience of exhibiting i would talk about nehru center till she comes i can talk that nehru center right from the childhood like uh, uh, even not childhood they are working for uh, specially that is uh, mentally challenged and physically challenged students uh, Mrs. Rege conducts competitions, and their works selected are kept in the exhibition. Then there are the child artists. That is for twelfth November, child Children's Day. She has special shows for them, and there are artists. She takes them on uh, uh, study tour. Uh, selected artists from college, students from different colleges, and they are all taken to study tour. Whatever is the outcome, that is again exhibited. in their uh, students uh, show and there are this uh, kind of chatak shows where all many of the people here are there and uh, they are showcasing their work tomorrow we can see that so and there is there is something called regular commercial gallery where it is rented for artists and again there is a master uh, show which is the uh, very senior masters who may or may not be present they are showcased once in a year with a printed catalog and uh, we can see some very rare paintings there was a show before 2 3 years of raja ravi verma there was rk lakshman show so there were many great artist shows that so this kind of galleries they do some work for the society also and they rent their galleries so these are type of galleries where niharika's gallery is little off bit but i really appreciate that uh, they are doing a great job by even if you are not having painting you can really have a place to talk because they say that ideas are art and uh, when uh, you express your art so maybe, to interrupt gayatri yeah. is on nina is here yeah is she there yeah namaskar nina madam i think she cannot hear us rege madam she is connecting she is connecting to audio uh, you will also have to move on gayatri because uh, our time is going to we yeah, have yeah actually <laughs> yeah that is what yeah waiting for mrs rege actually i'm very so many years and she would love uh, very much uh, be interested to talk about it yeah yeah she has a very large contribution that she yeah, has made to the field yeah. very large contribution it's very unfortunate this is the the bane yeah. of the digital medium that we all have to bear yes. with uh, we all are sometimes the positive because... side is we are sitting in different places and we are so well connected at the same yeah. time somebody cannot connect this is yeah then it becomes a real problem because one of the main participant uh, yeah is, is not uh, not the thing uh, the most senior one most senior <laughs> true <laughs> yeah well can uh, i think... ask in the meantime a small question to niharika uh niharika how do you feel your gallery is contributing uh for the developing aesthetic taste among people in general frankly speaking very we are very new uh in ahmedabad and with very different concept so i would like to talk about here my first uh, experience with the curating the exhibition during the just soon after corona 
actually during corona you know many young artists because they were either staying as a paying guest or somebody and they had to leave for their hometown like they all went to their hometown and uh, they were short of uh, material also because uh, because of lockdown and everything material was not available so during that period we had a uh, like the so during that lockdown period uh, we thought of the you know that that was like a very transitional time for everyone not only for the artist but for the people like us also so then we thought of the show called uh, in transit so in transit was our first uh, uh, curational effort for after just soon after lockdown and we invited the application from young artists who are uh, who are working with different material like not because when you don't have canvas what do you do how do you uh, give voice to your artistic urge so that was the whole theme and we created this curated show in transit invited the application from all over india and uh, we had the jury as jury mr indra pramit roy and sharmila sagra they were the juror and uh, we invited lot of application everything was online so we invited lot of application and then the our jury uh, was like we selected 10 to 12 artist and then soon after lockdown we decided to do the physical show so that was a big challenge because we um, we hired the big gallery it was the show it absolutely non commercial work because they were done with the local material whatever the available material at their native place they created those work it absolutely non commercial thing like we can we cannot say that uh, they are going to be you know the aesthetically uh, appealing to the mass so uh, but we did the show they all were very excited and the young people and we displayed it because to display it also was a great challenge some of the work were so different that you have to like there were video installations there were uh, artwork with bamboo i still remember that moshumi had done some few works with bamboo which were like where do you place them you need a proper display for that and it was a great challenge but we loved doing it we enjoyed the whole process working with the yeah, very young artists and you know for my like i was so happy when we could even sell those some of them work so that is what the i'm talking about the aesthetic involvement of the people when they have the sensitivity when you connect with artwork it become you know you have that tendency to buy it. so there are two type of buyers i believe that somebody who is really looking at artwork from the investment point of view or you know those who are drive uh, to buy masters work that is totally different market and those people who appreciate art who appreciate our sensitivity with their artwork and then they buy it it is a totally different one thank you niharika what is your expectation uh, as a gallerist from uh, students or from artists what is your expectation what should be the standard or what should be the kind of few advising things which can really make this young artist when they go to the gallery they should understand the expectation of gallerists also Uh, so what do you say as a galleries uh, what should be they prepared for so they should be prepared for change art field is constantly change adapting new technique new technology new material new ideas and frankly not to be driven by only and only market of course market is very important but you know i think young artists should learn they should be Uh, smart enough to understand that not to hide their artistic voice or artistic freedom to just market so that is what my originality is the key okay so can yeah, i originality is a uh, heart of can, 
can i yeah. uh, interrupt can, sarita, can, yeah, yes, please, yes please i think uh, nina will not be able to join us she is very much here but she's not able to connect to the audio or the video uh, so that's oh, a sad thing it's, uh, it's but it's really uh, uh, sad yeah but i would like that to uh, be a party to your conversation because uh, as niharika ji is talking uh, she's please. talking about a lot of please. interesting stuff and i have a question for you uh, niharika uh, yeah when you say that uh, uh, you know or when gayatri just asked you what should the artist expect of you as a gallerist uh, i think what uh, uh, gayatri would like to uh, drive at if i'm wrong please correct me gayatri uh, ki when when you see an artist and when you want to encourage that artist work uh, do you have certain expectations of that artist ki what the artist should do for you for the gallery or that's what uh, i asked them yeah yeah, yeah. And, okay and this, so that is what uh, i asked i think um, uh, uh, like for that is example, what i asked them mine is also new gallery so we also need to sustain and survive so we what we expect from artist is to giving their 100% like they create such work that you know we will be able to at least put it in the market and able to sell it and uh, that is what it is about uh, so as a gallerist myself yes. harika i would add over here ki uh, when when we look at uh, an artist work and when we are looking to see that okay so and so is very talented and you know he needs to be nurtured he needs to show his work he has to come into the limelight we also have a certain expectation that the artist should be committed to his work yes exactly and uh, and when we work for them uh, we also have an expectation that they should work for us because it's like you said it's a symbiotic relationship so yes. it's not just the gallerist who's responsible for the success of an exhibition it's the artist and the gallery that works together for the success of an exhibition that is what it is yeah i agree totally so agree. in these times especially in these times when we go online and it's a totally different ecosystem that you see because the way you um, publicize the show is different the way you reach out to buyers of course we can reach a larger number because it's no yeah. longer city centric you know it's uh, uh, india centric it goes international so we have a wider reach but this is where we always encourage the artists that you be a part of the ecosystem you know exactly. when uh, when we are uh, uh, posting on social media they should post on social media because uh, each artist brings his own coterie you know his own following and that is how each person can reach more people because the entire thing is propagating the knowledge of that exhibition yes, yes. so this is one expectation as a gallerist i have from my artists so in the same here uh, sarita because you know when we they are for an example they are using our uh, studio or our space and they are showcasing calling people then we do ask them to tag themselves their friends and the gallery and everybody you know then they it become a larger ecosystem that's right that's so right. it is like uh, um we do have like one friend is talking to other and that is how the new new artists are also coming and contacting us it is right. a similar way kind of communication helps each other that is absolutely right right over to you guys three sorry i butted in no no definitely <laughs> yeah i was uh, talking because uh because savita has been there for more than 25 years Uh, what is your experience as a gallerist uh, the initial years when there was no internet when there was the students were really interested in exhibiting their works through the galleries like uh, pradarshak and all such galleries uh, what were their uh, attitude then and how are you finding the attitude after they themselves have started showcasing their work and they are getting responses uh, is there a change in their uh, uh uh attitude towards galleries can you please highlight are you asking me gayatri yeah 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 okay. Okay. because you are experience you have an experience of more than 25 years uh, yes so there is of, a difference uh, i do uh, i do uh, see a difference vidyarthi vishesh uh, yes uh, especially talking about vidyarthi vishesh 
uh, th there definitely is a, a, a kind of detachment, I would say, uh, in today's times uh, than there was earlier. Because earlier when the students would come, they would see each other, they would interact, they would sit with us. They were more patient. There was a listening ear. So we would listen to them, they would listen to us. It was a two-way thing. But uh, what I see online, even though we have uh, uh, these uh, chat groups and you know we try to talk to them, uh, their response rate is very low. I must say that. That is very disappointing. As a gallerist, I find that a little disappointing because um, it is only through interaction, it is only through togetherness that we grow. And uh, today's generation uh, seems to think that they can do it by themselves is what I get the feeling from uh, what I have seen. Yes, the difference is there in attitude. I think Gayatri has lost again her connectivity. <laughs> so, but yeah, Sarita, even I do feel, you know, I have little this thing because of this uh, online thing and lot of... Uh, available platform for, for art auction and all those things. I think there is a lot of misunderstanding about the market they are having. So that is where, as gallery, that is what we do. We do give them the reality check that That's this right. is the actual situation. Uh, right. But uh, they should know be able to take that. We are yeah. here to do that. But uh, I think they feel that uh, the gallery's responsibility ends by taking their work and the gallery is responsible to sell their work and um, the learning part is being put on the back bench that you know we have to learn we have to take that reality check that is being given to us and then we have to progress that i feel is taking a back seat they are not they are not able to understand that they should focus on that part yeah that is true it is true i think we've had a good uh, exchange uh, this is exactly what we were looking at unless Gayatri has something more to add any questions anybody yeah ma'am I have got one yes please yeah actually ma'am I'm a like a freelancing artist I haven't never had any formal training in mm -hmm. terms of uh, this arts so I was a, like a, you can say a born artist uh, I practiced it uh, for a long time then I gave it up around uh, 28 years ago during the long uh, mm -hmm. during this lockdown, I started up uh, like once again after 28 years. So, like the cost of metal has really gone up uh, tremendously. So, I want to sell my paintings. Like, uh, how should I proceed now? So, Vipul wants to sell his work, and so what would be the uh, way to he can sell his work? So, I think Vipul, you can uh, try online or uh, show it to. Uh, gallery if they are interested and uh, online is that there are good platforms online also where you can put your work i think gayatri is back so over to gayatri gayatri take it forward i hope i am uh, audible now yeah yeah, yeah you, are, you are you yeah. are what has happened there is a unstable connection so it goes comes and goes off correct uh, correct please bear with it uh, yeah <clears throat> So I would like uh, Niharika and you uh, both to talk a little about your experiences as a gallerist. Uh, like, uh, what would you uh, tell to the professional artist as well as the aspiring and student artist? Uh, that how should they proceed further in their career if they want to really establish themselves as artists because once you paint you become you cannot become artist until and unless you showcase it in a proper way with some galleries uh, then you can be judged or you can be recognized as artist so even if it is an online gallery you have to be selected by that gallery so how should these youngsters the aspiring those who are professionals they already know the galleries. They are already invited by the galleries. But what about the aspiring young artist who showcase in some uh, uh, typical exhibitions being held in some places and they showcase their work. And of course, they buy. They have their own uh, class of buyers. They have their class of art lovers, everything with them. But those who want to really be into the 
uh, art world like to establish themselves into the history of art. See, there are many people who paint and they are forgotten. But there are few people who stay or they are noted in the history. I would consider because time is the only uh, uh, judge which tells that whether your art will survive more than you or not. People buy your art. People may keep their your art into their homes. But to be absolutely into the circle of elites, to be into the circle of art lovers who are truly collectors or who truly love art. What would you advise them as galleries to come forward as? How to, how to do proper uh, exploration of their talent and ex exploration of their talent galleries? If you can so they have suggest to decide some... How... See, Gayatri, I think if the work is strong, and they are able to connect to the wider audience. It is like the now everything like the news travel very fast because of this uh, digital spaces. <laughs> and even participating in art fairs, exhibitions, group shows, all those things are also a good vehicle to take their, you know, whatever work to the many people. So that is the only way they can do it connecting with many uh, groups, galleries, and then take their work forward. Only thing that they have to, as I said earlier, work has to be very strong. It should be uh, powerful. The subject has to be treated very powerfully and the thought has to be very well defined. So that is what it is about. Okay, uh, Sarita, I would like to... Yeah, I agree with Niharika and I would like to add on to what she's saying. Um, the one uh, reality check that uh, aspiring artists should look at is not be in a hurry to show their work. Until they have, uh, like we always tell the artists, that uh, every work that you do is important. It is important for your growth. But you have to learn to differentiate between what is important for you and what is right to be showcased in an exhibition for the audiences to uh, imbibe. So they have to learn to differentiate between uh, a, a technical uh, practice work and uh, between what is for public consumption. So that is something that they have to uh, keep in mind. Uh, another reality check that I would give an aspiring artist is do not be in a hurry to have many exhibitions. So uh, a tendency that I have seen over the years is just because they have a lot of work. The same work is repeated with every exhibition. That does not make sense because when you're having an exhibition, the purpose of an exhibition is to showcase your growth. It is not to showcase the same work because it did not sell. They have to learn to differentiate between selling and growth. This is one reality very true. all aspiring very true. should be. Very, very true, uh, Savita. It was the right thing to say that uh, it is how you are competing with yourself yes, and how you are coming as a winner and what is your new project, what you are showcasing. That's the right way, I think. And uh, I think with this, uh, we should be able to conclude that uh, what these galleries can do for us, that is, they have very clearly mentioned and they have been doing it for years together. And we are witness to this uh, total, uh, <clears throat> for years we have been witness to this. But I would like as artist, as an artist, I'm representing art fraternity. So as an artist, we are given the right uh, advice by both the galleries. One is very open, the other is also very open. But at the same time, it is we who have to have a right attitude for our own art with that uh, reality check, as Savita rightly said. We must be treated and whatever is our new work and with the work which we keep on exhibiting every time because it is not sold. That is, I think, 
the biggest failure of, as an artist. So we must try to explore ourselves. Uh, thank you, Savita. And thank you, Niharika. I think many of these uh, upcoming artists would like to question these gallerists as well as uh, they may ask me something if I can real help them out. Uh, can we keep some uh, time for them to yeah, ask we questions? Can, we can keep it Savita? open. One or two questions, Sushi? just like somebody earlier asked. Yeah. If there is anyone wanting to know something, please. Yeah. Please, please. Please, uh, I, I invite all the participants today. If you have anything to ask, please, please feel free to ask yourself. Yes, there is Madhu Joy. Yeah, thank you. I would like to ask, if when we are painting uh, or if we are creating a, work, a collection of paintings for an exhibition, do we need to go with a certain theme? You know, do, do we have to work around a certain theme? You know, uh, we visualize a certain theme that, we, that all the artwork will represent. Do we have to do that? I mean, is it, it's a, is it a better approach to having an exhibition? See. So, the question addressed to uh, any any artist, of the galleries yeah. or and also Madam Gayatri, Madam, anyone, anyone. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, I think as as an artist, I'll just as an artist, I'll just in say in one word, one sentence that it is always good to have a theme and uh, exhibit so that you have uh, many ideas for one subject, many things to say about one subject, and how you are handling that subject, it shows your creativity. So. That way, it's a challenge to your creativity and your uh, ideas are channelized for one particular mm -hmm. thing. So you can really mm -hmm. show your work in a better way. You can show your ideas and creativity as an artist to the world. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I preferably, uh, I'm doing the same. I work on a theme. Now, the as galleries, they can tell us how we should work. Yeah. yeah yes. Sure. Niharika and then Savita, please. So what I think that for exactly for what you, where you are going to exhibit is very important. If it is your solo show and you are exhibiting your work, it's a different, you are handling the subject differently because then you need a common thread, whatever you are showcasing. And the, all the work has to be in sync with each other. But if it is, you are giving two works for a group show, then it could be, it, your other works may not be of the same, theme or same subject or the same style but right you know and ultimately all your work should reflect you as an artist that is very important mm -hmm. that's very true okay. yes Savita? Okay, yeah they've said it both of you have said it all she's got okay. her okay. yeah okay. i really don't thank have you. to add. Yeah, I hope. thank you yeah thank you yes yes madhu i hope you are satisfied with the answers yes 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 thank you thank you Anyone else, please? Quickly, we can just go around. Ma'am, I want to ask. Yes. Yes, Arva. The, yeah. The, in Nehru Center, I have seen that the, that is the, the price is very high. And can what you please open your video are... also? Okay, okay. Ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we have seen the yes. Nehru Center that the price is very high. So we are just starting for the artist. We are just, we have started. But what happens that the, we are, we cannot, uh, it, that high it is price. So we cannot afford to place our uh, paintings over there. So what should we do for that? As an artist, I'm as an artist, let me tell you that if you are starting, wait mm. your work to get matured first so that you have a collection of 100 paintings and then select just 10 out of it or 15 out of it. Form a group. Yeah. That's group of the same level artist. Then you can approach these galleries. Your, your charges also get divided. You can approach many small galleries who are exhibiting... Uh, newcomers. Uh, there is gallery of uh, Trident, free of charge you can exhibit. This gallery at uh, this one, uh, Art Plaza, where it is free. So okay. there are places where you can exhibit, but yes, you should have 100 paintings, 
made and then you oh. have you should have the courage to exhibit only selected 10 out of it what do you say niharika and uh, uh, savita yeah i i agree to that I because uh, yes. the charges that you have to pay yes when you're confident that you're ready to exhibit that is when you should approach the gallery until then you have to keep working it's not that if you have like Gayatri saying you make 100 paintings, 100 is a number that she's putting in. It could be 20, it could be 30. It is still you have arrived at your level of confidence and a particular style you have developed, which shows you as a signature. Because remember, there are uh, thousands of artists out there. What are you doing that is going to establish you and your name into the field because in this field uh, the name will come much later it's your work that is going to get recognized okay. first so yeah are you, are you making a mark with your work question yourself it's it's you're competing with yourself so unless you're not ready that way don't don't even think of approaching a gallery okay okay thank you ma'am thanks a lot even I think we can uh, wind up now, guys. We can wind up now, yeah, yeah, definitely. Already late. And, uh, and I thank Niharika so heartily for being here. And uh, I really miss today Mrs. Rege because she had very much to say what she wanted to say, but unfortunately she could not connect with us. Uh, maybe sometimes else Savita can organize something specially for her. But Niharika, thanks. And you have really uh, given open invitation to the artists from Mumbai and other places from wherever yes, they are. Sure, sure. Uh, they can for your gallery. Uh, person. They can apply to Invent Art. It's the Invent Art Connect at the rate gmail.com. They can in, uh, openly uh, send us email and uh, uh, also send the images of their work and artist statement. Then, you know, we place them according to our calendar. So that is my open invitation. And Sarita, it's wonderful talking to you. Wonderful having so many participation listening to us also. And Gayatri, thank you so much for inviting me and putting me with uh, in touch with all these people. Thank you so much. And of course, I also miss Nina Rekic is, uh, uh, you know, one advises from the senior person and yes. who has really done, contributed so yes. much in the field. Yes. Thank you so much. Truly, truly yes. miss Nina today. Truly uh, yeah. She's listening in, I think. Uh, Nina, if you're hearing us, you can tell us later. But yes, we've missed you very badly today. Uh, we were yes. hoping to get a lot of insights from someone as experienced as Nina. And especially yeah. since she has... Uh, uh, spearheaded that gallery. It was her idea that that gallery in Nehru Center should be set up. She was the visionary oh, wow. behind it. So uh, yes, we have missed her. But thank you so very much. All the people who have taken time off and attended yes. our uh, session in spite of all the technical breaks and the delay. And uh, thank you so much, Niharika, for being here. It's a pleasure thank meeting you. Thank you. Thank you, Alti. Thank you, Gayatri, for that lovely uh, insight into how galleries actually begun. Uh, I'm sure a lot of students have uh, uh, got that uh, uh, knowledge and now they will go and Google for more. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you everyone. Thank you thank so much, Shruti and Savita uh, and Niharika and all these, all the people here, whom many of them I know very personally and they all are here. Uh, thank you very much. It was a nice thank evening, you. of Good course. Night. Thank Good you. Night. Good night, everyone. Thank you, man. Thank you, Shruti.